Okay, so now we're here with Angel Gonzalez Martinez, the director and Jose Pastor, the producer of the movie Compulsion. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Compulsion. Perfect. That's right. Uh, which uh, is part of the Hardline Film Festival. And yeah, we're here to talk a bit about your movie. Mm, maybe because uh, the, the interview is screened afterwards and everybody can watch it on YouTube for the ones who haven't seen the movie in your own word because I don't want to give anything away. What would you say is the movie about or in just a short synopsis of the movie? Okay, sorry. Uh, I can speak in English okay. currently and so I don't know... If it's okay with you guys, he speaks in Spanish and I will translate in English. Totally. And if I have something that I want to add, I will say this is... I don't want to do this and... Okay, it's see. okay for you? Totally. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, um, sorry, can you ask the question again, please? Uh, the question was just um, for the ones who haven't seen the movie and when we're not going to be talking mm -hmm. about the movie that they also have a, uh, an idea what the movie is about. What would you say in your own words is the movie about? Eh, la película va sobre eh, cómo eh, incluso las personas más cercanas a nosotros pueden esconder terribles secretos. The movie tells how even the closest people in our lives can hide uh, horrible secrets. And maybe you can... Well, no, Spanish, if, uh, uh, la historia también... La película también puede hablar de um, lo difícil que resulta a veces enfrentarse y sobrevivir a la verdad. And the movie speaks as well about how difficult and hard can be uh, facing the truth. Okay, so that's the basic idea of the movie. And um, I've seen it yesterday in the cinema and it was a very effective movie, a very straight movie. Mm -hmm. And um, as I heard in the Q&A, you had a very limited budget. So um, it's, it's a very short movie, but I think that's not a problem, but the, ga the movie gains from it because it's very concentrated and it's not too long, there are no redundancies. Um, can you s tell us about something about the tempo of the movie? Sí, eh, mm, por supuesto. Eh, la idea eh, desde el principio era hacer un, un thriller muy intenso, muy intenso. Sin medios, pero muy intenso. The idea since the beginning was to have a very intense thriller. Intensity was uh, the most important thing. Uh, we might not have the, all the sources or all the tools or resources, but that was the idea to make it as much intense uh, as possible. I think personally that the rhythm, the tempo of a film is the aspect of the formal most important. Apart from the content, the rhythm is la manera que tienes de agarrar al espectador. Tempo is the most important thing for the movie um, even okay content as well is in, is important as well but the tempo is the the only thing you can use to keep the spectator to keep the audience stick to the to the seat. Yes. Because the meaning because, porque el sentido eh, la idea de la película el contenido siempre viene después pero para llegar hasta el final Tienes que mantener al espectador. Because the content, the story comes after. You know, it's something that is evolving through the movie, but uh, the, the tempo is just since minute one. You need to have tempo since minute one, even if you haven't started to tell the story. Tienes que tener al espectador agarrado hasta el final. You need to keep the audience uh, uh, tight uh, to, the, to the seat, yeah? Like a stick, a stick to the seat, so that you have to do this since uh, minute one. That was my feeling, even if, uh, if the, 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 um, your budget is limited and your device and means are limited, if you have the right feeling for timing, you can make a very effective movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, hmm. What I also liked a lot about your movie was the lightning, the feeling of the lights and the shadows and also yes. the landscape. Yes, yes, yes. We, well, um, and 
¿Quieres contestar tú mejor? Pero ese no lo he entendido. Sí, que también le ha parecido muy interesante todo el tema de, de la luz y, de, y del el escenario, los paisajes, eh, digamos, el tema un poco de localización. Sí. Eh, la idea era hacer un thriller sobre secretos ocultos, pero a plena luz del día. La idea was to have a, to shoot a thriller about hidden secrets, but uh, in the light of the day. Yeah, I mean, not uh, through the night or something. En, en, a, no, a mí personalmente eh, me gusta yeah. mucho la luz natural, a la fotógrafa eh, también le gustaba mucho la luz natural y pensábamos que era la manera más directa y auténtica de, de poder hacer esto. Ángel and, and, and the DP, the director of photography, both, they love natural light and they thought that natural light would be the best way to, to show the story he wanted to show. So, um, this is your first feature film? As a producer, it's my second one. Second one. But um, it's the first with Angel. We founded the company and my previous experience had nothing to do. It was like... A, It was a movie like with a very much higher budget, with Spanish famous actors from Spanish famous movies, and the movie was uh, sold internationally to Netflix, to all the, the whole world. You have it available in, in Germany, it's called Our Lovers, Nuestros Amantes. And it was a different thing uh, with uh, four weeks of shooting and uh, many more uh, sources. But uh, Angel and I, we are uh, longtime friends, and uh, we, we, we won it since since forever we wanted to have like a, a production company focused on sustainable projects. We, we think that we don't need uh, much effects in, and we don't need to shoot in a room full of uh, green screens. Uh, we think that the script, the acting is important, the script too, we need like those elements um, and we think that we can do it. What is the thing? Uh, the genre films in Spain are completely ignored so our idea is to shoot in English so we can have international markets uh, and they can compensate the lack of uh, public funds. So uh, we try to, to do that. The uh, next project will be shooting in English just because yeah, we want to... to we have lots of ideas, uh, we have m many projects coming up and that's you, the way we want you to... you already started with the next project or yeah. just the script already? Yes, we are... Sí, estamos en las primeras fases del guión, in the early stages stage of the scripts. Yeah, we, we, we have a, a treatment and we are working on... Quite developed treatment, I mean, we, we already now, let's say that we are starting looking to work cast on, on, on looking details, for looking, looking for cast and, and, and stuff. Uh, making budget and these things, yes. It's gonna, gonna, it's gonna be a similar uh, thriller or it's gonna be a it, different it's, story? It's quite different. <laughs> quite it's quite different, it's quite different. Do you want to know the log line? If, if you want to tell. Yes, of course, maybe I think uh, she can speak better in English. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, you say that, of course. Uh, should I? Um, the project is about uh, uh, a bunch of uh, Green Berets soldiers, special unit soldiers from US. They are in the Kurdistan with their um, with a militia. They are helping the, each other. Kurdish, uh, Kurdish, Kurdish, Kurdish uh, militia in Kurdistan, and they ha they got an ambush by uh, the ISIS. So they have to find shelter in a cave. Okay. When they arrive to the cave, mm, they are not alone. And uh, this is. This is it. This is it. <laughs> there, there are some surprises. There's so something in the cave. And there's the something in the cave, or uh, well, let's see. Salvando las diferencias, como saving distance, saving distance, thing, uh, thing, maybe the thing, this kind of movie. The thing from John Carpenter, maybe the descent. Uh, the, the descent, yes, the descent of because of the location. Yes, maybe the, the descent, descent by Neil Marshall. Marshall. The descent. Uh, a group of men. Uh, a trip in some place with uh, a beast trying to and, kill them. And as you can see, uh, this movie uh, it's a higher budget project, but at the end it's pretty much the same. It's a uh, few locations, we don't need to be in to have 15 different locations, the cave is the main location, so and, and a bunch of factors. So that make us, uh, that allow us to have control on the production process, which is essential for us if we want to keep shooting movies. So even if it's gonna be a different story, maybe kind of different genre, 
um, you, you gonna s still be able to see some handwriting from the guys who made composition. You can you, you're trying to keep some some continuity in your work. I I think I, I don't know if Angel maybe can answer the question because you know when you are the one who's writing, uh, maybe you think mm, you are. Um, doing things differently, but from my point of view, I think that Angel's Angel style is there. You know, like uh, all, always um, uh, only using dialogue when when it's uh, essential to do it. Um, lots of action, cinematography. The, 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 correct me if I'm Jason. wrong. And uh, having something under control. Don't need to have, as I said before, like uh, the rooms full of uh, green screens and stuff like. Um, and and tempo and rhythm pace, you know the, the um, uh, only appears in the movie what is essential to to understand the story. If it's not essential, if you can under, be understood in a different way, if you can do any more resources in order to get the story understood, you don't need to show that. So it will be, I think, that uh, there will be similarities and the crew. The style of, uh, of uh, yes, uh, but at the end is is the same story about uh, uh, a people or a group of people who who discover a hidden secret who maybe okay. is 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 dangerous. So is, this is kind of your common thread uh, through your films. You you like to deal with. Uh, discovering secrets or what's hidden beneath the shadows or in the dark? Yes, yes, I think, but I think it's a an, uh, an subconscious, unconscious um, attraction about this theme. I don't think consciously I, I want to make a movie about this theme. But it's the, the, the process is, is quite different. You think in the love line, you love the love line, the characters, the situation, and and then comes the theme. In and Maybe in hindsight you discover yourself, oh, that's something that seems to interest me. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right, that's right. I, I think sure. uh, it's, it's, this is my way to do this. I find uh, some situations, some, some log line, and this is the, the seed of everything comes after. But uh, you can see is maybe, I think is there is some similarities in the in the bottom of the thing. Uh, hidden and dangerous secrets who are to be discovered by something who has to survive them. Okay. Um, maybe one question? Yes, yes. Sure. Um, can you tell us about your own influences? Because we were talking a bit about style, what, what movies or style did influence you? Influence? For compulsion? For compulsion, sí. Um, not, uh, no hay influencias conscientes, pero supongo que inconscientemente sí que habrá... There are no self-conscious influences, but um, he's sure that the influences are there even if he's not aware. No queríamos copiar nada, no, no queríamos hacer una fotocopia de nada. We didn't want to copy or um, paste, you know, we didn't want to do a photocopy from something we like and just take the shoot and, you know. Yeah. Pero, pero, por su, pero por supuesto hablamos de varias películas durante la preparación. But of course, you know, we needed some examples in order to make, you know, in the drive. If you want to explain what you want to do, the best thing is to have some examples. So yes. we used examples such as... Inside, Inside the French movie. Alain Delia, Inside mm -hmm. by uh, Alex Bustillo. 2007 or something, uh, I think. 2007 uh, and 2008, Street um, Blade Romance, Alexandre Aya. Old Tension, oh, old tension. Uh, debut from Alexandre Aya. Oh, yeah. uh, we talk about, we talk much about this movie, especially about the the surviving horror theme. The surviving okay. element. Yeah, I, I can see that in Composition, the survival mm -hmm. element. Yeah. There is no much examples of this kind of movies that is that it's not only a torture female movie. I we want to do something else than a simple exploitation. The thing, yeah. And and maybe another example of a movie that we really liked, even if it was not a direct influence for compulsion, was Green Room. I don't know if you guys Yeah, very recent movie. The Green yeah, from Anton Jelkin. Yeah. And this kind of surviving element, like people they got in a situation they need to solve and 
uh, in order to survive. Yes. So yeah. Maybe m maybe the I think uh, compulsion. The first half is a thriller, and the second half is a surviving movie. Uh, the influence for the part of the surviving movie are this this one, and for the thriller part, I think Claude Chabrol's Woman in Fidel. Do mm -hmm. you know in this movie? It's about a marriage who suspect that a wife who suspects uh, her, her husband is cheating on her, and when she starts to try to find the truth, uh, uh, this is I, I think this is a, a, a influence in the for the argument for the for the plot for and the, the, plot, the, the yeah. first part of the script and. And I don't remember that movie of this called movie with Gary Grant and I think John, John Fontaine, Fontaine is Suspicion. I, I don't remember exactly the. Yeah, I the think title. it's called Suspicion. But the. It's called the, the when well, it's black and white and it's. Yes, the, yes, it's the, from the 40, 40, 40 something, 45, 40, 46, something like yeah. this. And there is a, a, a girl who married a man who is Gary Grant, who is a shady man. and she discovered that he has a plan to kill her, hmm. but for other reasons. No? And I think these those classic movies uh, influence in the in the plot, in the argument, in the first stages of the of the script. No? Okay. Um, so we have to come to an end of the interview. Any closing words from you? You uh, want to say about the movie? Any, any words? Is there something left you want to say about the movie? Because uh, mm. we, we, we well, have I, to I, I like it to say just one thing, and um, is that this movie is not like uh, an end in itself. I mean, it's just the beginning of uh, more movies, and I think that what Angel did here is very interesting, as this is a, a directorial debut. And I think that um, Angel proved with the debut what a director has to do with it, his first movie. If you check, um, I don't know, and Steven Spielberg, for instance, Duel, or the first movie of Alexandra Aya, Tension, or some other directors that have been famous, you know, that have become famous and important for the cinematic world. I think that in this debut we can see that, you know, that Angel is a guy that with uh, with limited resources can do a lot mm -hmm. and, and I think that this is interesting as, as my point of view because I'm, the, I'm a producer so what I think is that uh, I'm definitely convinced that Angel will be able in the future to, to, to go up if, if he has you know if he, if he has the resources he needs to tell the story he, he has to tell. This movie um, is not uh, I mean Angel had to think in something he could make so, because we have limitations of budget and stuff, and I think the result is mm, amazing. So, let's wait for uh, a, a new projects with much uh, higher budget, and Angel could prove himself as a very interesting director. That's what I wanted to say. Es eh, de alguna manera una manera de, de probar que se puede hacer cine de calidad fuera del sistema y que eh, y profesionalmente y eficazmente, ¿no? Es it's a proof that uh, we can do quality cinema uh, out of the system with no help of the system and sí, uh, uh, y crear interés en el extranjero en ah, festivales como Hardline, Sitges o Sitges Festival Hardline. The thing of uh, our problem in Spain is that these movies or these kind of genre movies are completely ignored in Spain, but uh, we can see that uh, people got interested outside of Spain. So that makes us believe that we still have to work hard on it and we need to shoot in English and we need to, you know, to to collaborate, to cooperate with this community like you guys, like people that are passionate about this kind of extreme cinema and we need to go all together and I don't know, I think uh, we are very happy with the result of yes. Conclusion and let's see, let's go for a different, another project and after that another, a new one, a new one and yeah. Hopefully, we were uh, very lucky to see Composition at the Thank Hanlein you. Film Festival, and yeah, we are looking Thank forward you. for your future projects. Thank you for the interview. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.